I don't know. We need to we need to learn more. Don't tell me anything about the trailer though. Like I don't even know. I'm I'm assuming the trailer has no gameplay in it, but I really don't know. I would not be surprised if it was just like a cinematic trailer. Was KOTOR first person shooter? God no. KOTOR was third person RPG. It was Dungeons and Dragons, basically. No, it was third person. Alright. Let's record some of this. Damn, the grass here really makes it tough to get low angle shots. Like, look at that. That sucks. I can turn the grass off, but then it just makes the rest of it look like shit. Skeletti, you can't get past the MMO combat in SWOTOR. You're a bit sad to miss out on all those storylines. Well, I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but uh, a lot of people have shown interest in me streaming SWOTOR just to play through the storylines. So I have no idea when or if I'm even going to do it, but the chance of me actually doing that is there. So if, you ever, uh, if that ever happens, you'll be able to watch those streams, even after I post them on YouTube, if you don't want to watch them live and just catch all the storylines without having to actually sit through all the grinding.
Whoever just followed, thank you for the follow. I can't see the uh, the pop up right now. I'm getting some really good long shots here, though. I think I saw a blue frog by the shuttle port, but I could be wrong. I'll go check in a second. Let's see. No, I guess I am wrong. see one anywhere. Is that it? Oh god no, there's lots more. I hope Gax gets the kill so he dies in this face in this direction. Like I hope he grabs aggro before the thing dies. Oh, rip that idea. Meanwhile, the 
That was really freaking awesome, actually. That pan backwards. You saw one Grawl drop, a second Grawl drop, and then it panned perfectly under his arm like that. That shot's going in the video. That was really loud. Cater's letting me know that there's a frog at the shuttle port now if anyone needs it. Damn, I was hoping to get some blaster shots from above the trees. I want to see, like, blaster fire going every direction from above the tree line. That'd be pretty cool. What do we got left? Well, that might be it. Whoops. Oh no, that's not it. There's still a ton of dudes. Over here. Is that out of my range? It might be out of my range. Oh, that's why it didn't work, the button, because I was holding shift when I hit it. I see. Oh, hello there. Are these part of the event? Rebels? Oh, and no, that's just a lot of rebels. So what are the what are the rebel players supposed to fight? Are there imps anywhere? I feel like I'm missing important stuff somewhere else. Let's get some beach shots. Oh, well, they're not on the beach anymore. Come on, I want both commandos to fire their flamers at the same time. 
Come on. There's one. Get the other one. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of close. No, you're not able to import Nova characters to the test server, but all your Basilisk characters are already here. Plus, there's blue frogs here, so you can change your Basilisk characters just like you could do with your Nova characters. The Basilisk characters are copied over automatically. You don't have to do anything. Just when you go to Character Select, scroll down to the bottom, and you should see all your characters there already with the Prime or TC Prime in their name. Tree covers here is not really that great. Nine hundred forty seven hundred. What? Like up in Dwaba Gorfell. No. Wait. Is it in the swamp? Please don't be in the swamp. It's in the freaking swamp. What are you guys doing to me? You know, I have another event I have to do later tonight. Hopefully this event is over by the time that event starts.
Another 30 minutes-ish? All right. All right, we'll see. I'll take your word. I'll take your word for it. Oh, the freaking after party. I forgot about that. Oh, you guys. I'm gonna have to order Grubhub or something. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna have time to do anything for dinner. Looking at my bank account, man. My cable bill just got taken out. I'm about to make a loan payment in two days. Like, killing me, Smalls. Follow the string of people, I guess. Cheez-Its and coffee. Man, I love Cheez-Its, but they give me indigestion something fierce. I don't know if that's TMI, sorry. But, like, I can't eat Cheez-Its anymore. I used to eat so many Cheez-Its in college. That probably explains a lot about this whole, like, weight thing I got going on. But, dude, uh, Cheez-Its were my snack. And I just, I can't touch them anymore. The only reason I didn't want to come to this swamp is because the visibility in this swamp sucks. It means all the sh look at this. Look at the visibility drop. It's all foggy and shit. Camera shots are going to be terrible. This is not going to make for very good footage. Yeah, I do turn the lights on, but the light doesn't work with the free cam, unfortunately.
Oh, look at all those lightsabers, though. That looks pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Got the right camera on this time. Holy shit! Do my eyes deceive me, or does that say Dark Jawa? Oh my god. Oh my god. I never knew I needed something like this so badly in my life. Gonna get some other shots. All right, Skinny Puff, have a good night. What the fuck is that? Guys. 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 Come on. That's a really cool shot. I wish I had a flashlight on though, because he blends in just a little too much with that backdrop. But I really like that shot in between the waterfalls. Oh wait, why are you moving? I'm trying to get footage, no! God, no! God damn it! Why can't I get good shots? What's this guy fighting? He's not fighting anything. Blue Frog is up near the cloning facility.
No, guys, sorry, I don't stream on Twitch and YouTube anymore. It keeps- it would split my viewer base, and I wouldn't benefit from either as much as I would if I just stuck to one. So I do all my streaming exclusively on Twitch now, but I do export all of my broadcasts to YouTube once I'm done. So you'll be able to watch this entire- entire five hour live stream, possibly six by the time it's done, on YouTube, uh, once it's been processed. See, if you get too close, it just looks like a garbled mess. Like, yeah, there you go. Watch that for five minutes and try not to have an epileptic seizure. Is that it? I already know the answer is no. Oh, Kurgle! Kurgle's squaring off against the Death Jawa by himself! Holy... Put him in his place! <laughs> This is going to make a really neat... Please nobody stand in between me and the Death Jawa. Please nobody stand in between me and the Death Jawa. We're okay so far. We're okay so far. I really don't want to move the camera. Because it's going to make a really neat transition effect. If I fade from just Kurgle fighting to maybe like three people and then to like a whole shitload of people fighting without moving the camera. It's gonna look so good. Alright, well... It's still probably good enough. What do we got left? Stare at that ass, I guess. Network monitor. Packet loss 80, 89%. Bandwidth 12, about, tw oh god, that's jumping all over the place. Can you see that? Uh, or is it too small, Cater? Music is too loud. Wheelman, a couple of people have been having that issue. I don't know why, but it seems like it's dependent on what device you're watching me on. Let me try uh, pulling up the network status on my other tune. Oh, you know what? I gotta get closer to all the fighting. Cater, can you see this network status window or is it too small on stream?
Yeah, packet loss is like 90% uh, bandwidth in right now is not that high because nobody's fighting, but it, it did spike up to like 26. And FPS was down as low as 13. Oh shit, I keep hitting tab. I need some new music. Let's see, what can I put on here? I need to hire somebody to find a bunch of really cool copyright free stream music. Yeah, but I don't know if Twitch... I mean, I'll check it out, Kurgle. But I don't know if a Twitch okayed Spotify playlist will work on YouTube for when I export the videos over. See, that's the difference between uh, being mostly a Twitch streamer and being mostly a YouTuber. Like, if I was a Twitch streamer, like, more full-time than I am... I would have no problem streaming and playing copyrighted music because most of the revenue that you get on Twitch comes from donations and subscriptions, not from ad revenue. So it doesn't matter that I'm playing copyrighted music because people will still subscribe and still donate and stuff. But since uh, most of my revenue comes from YouTube, I have to be very mindful over what uh, copyrighted music I play because I don't really earn anything from Twitch. Like, I know a lot of you guys subscribe today, and that's awesome. I think I'll probably earn more from all of those subscriptions than uh, I typically do streaming ever. Uh, but it's really, it's the ad revenue that I get from people watching the streams posted on YouTube. And unfortunately, like, YouTube's gotten a little bit better at being able to mute sections of a video that's already been uploaded. In the past, like, I could upload a three-hour stream, and if I listen to, like, a one-minute copyrighted song, that entire three-hour stream can't be monetized. And that's ridiculous. But, like I said, they've gotten a little bit better at it now. There's a tool that you can use to, like, mute a small portion of a video. Problem is, it doesn't always work. It's pretty good, but it doesn't always work. So I'd rather just not have to deal with it at all. Kurgle, you're going to have to tell me how to do that. So... So let me get this straight. You stream, and you're playing music, and the people watching your stream can also hear the music, but the music doesn't get saved to the stream? Am I understanding that correctly? So if you were to watch that stream under previous broadcasts, would you still hear the music? It doesn't get saved in the export?
So are you recording locally while you stream then? Or are you exporting the stream? So the VOD will have the music. See, I think that's the problem. Because when I, when I upload the streams to YouTube, I export directly from Twitch. Okay, so yeah, that's different. But still, I'm still curious how that would work. I don't typically record locally while I stream. I am right now. That way I can edit this footage. But usually, if, I, if I'm just going to post the whole stream, I'll just export the, the VOD directly and let Twitch handle the upload instead of my system. I think I'm too far away to see what's going on. Where the hell did everybody go? Everyone's over here. I just went out and bought myself a new four terabyte external hard drive to save all my videos on because I had a three terabyte that filled up. So luckily now I've got a lot more room to f record on too. Are we going to the next location now? Why is everyone? Yeah, okay. Oh, is that it? Yay! Please join the SWG EMU staff, follow community members for a party in Theed on Naboo to celebrate all the hard work and dedication from the community. Yay! We did it! We beat Darth Jawa! The ping loss is fake. The force will be with you, always. Madman MC, thanks for the sub. And thank you for the follow earlier. I, I did see that that was you who followed uh, earlier when I couldn't see the notification. So thank you for both the follow and the sub. Oh shoot, this is Kettler. What am I doing? <sighs> Thanks for showing this. Wasn't able to participate, but glad to watch. No problem. I did not expect it to go on for this long, but it was worth it. I just have a lot less time to find something for dinner before the next thing, though. Uh, again, I'll say uh, what I said earlier. Uh, at 9... Is it 9? No, 10 p.m. Whew, all right. I got one extra hour than I thought I did. 
10 p.m. Eastern Time, which is about two and a half hours from now. Um, I'm going to be live streaming again, I think I will be. Even if I won't be, somebody else will be, and I'll be hosting them. Uh, we're going to be interviewing the guild leader of the BOS Guild, Sugar. Just to kind of, as like a community spotlight kind of thing. It's going to be the first in potentially a series of community interviews that we're going to do. So we'll see how it goes. You guys are welcome to join the stream and maybe ask some questions in chat to uh, be added to the interview. To be honest with you, I'm not the one organizing it, so I don't really know everything that's planned, but I do like the idea of having a couple community members sit down and like talk to us and see kind of like a like a get to know people that play the game you know sounds like a good idea cater I will keep that in mind I'm sure we will reach out to you for that Did I buy a ticket already? I did not. Oh, you know what? Cater, while you're here... Oh, you no, know, Basilisk is going to be down the rest of the night. Never mind. I got a question for you, but it really involve or really requires me to show you something on Bassy. So I can't do it tonight, but at some point, you might be able to help me with something. What? What do you mean I don't have a... How do I... How do I not have a ticket? Did I buy a ticket on the same tune twice? No. What the hell? Oh, I didn't have money. Shoot. Alright, wait. Tip. Kettler. 10,000. Mank. Alright, go. Where the hell did that mail go? Oh, Kurgle, thanks. Corellia, Papa, Grafell, Starport, Naboo, Thebes, Spaceport, Symbol. People are weird. Alright, let's check out that uh, on-screen network status window with all these people in a city. Not quite as bad as I thought it would be. log on Mobius. Wait, what? No. 
Okay, th so there you go. Ping, packet loss, bandwidth, FPS is working now. The guild is gone? Which guild? SWGU? SWGU has been gone since October. I think I just crashed. Alright, I think Kettler just crashed. Sorry, I think people were trying to talk to me too and I missed it. Yep, Kettler crashed. Alright. That explains that. So Lollander killed me, that's why I got the cloning message. Frilly, you can't hear me? Wait, what happened? I'm so confused, what's going on? Let's see if we can do this right. People are slapping Palpy. So where are we doing this thing? We've got Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, Lilis, Leas, how are you say name? Ferelli's dancing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it'd be great to have this many people online consistently, you know? You guys remember what it was like when there was this many people on all the time?
Oh, I wonder what happens if you go up to where the one way the fireworks launch. Someone launch a firework. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> fireworks to the face. Pretty cool. Man, look at all the people. We really need to be playing like the Ewok celebration music right now, but. You know how that would go. Disney would not be very fond of that, but you can all play it in your head. You know how it goes. Oh, hello over here. Oh, they actually have interiors rendered for those? As if those could, they probably wanted those to side hatches to be able to open, huh? Ain't that interesting. Why else would they have these interiors textured like this? Huh, learn something new every day. Try and catch up on chat, see if I missed anything important. <laughs> People complaining about frame rate four frames a sec. Oh, Cater! You are upset that we didn't manage to crash the server? I mean, I could help you with that if you really want me to. We're in feed on Naboo right now. I mean, if you really want the server to crash, I can make it happen. Pretty easily, <laughs> actually. Ferelli knows this. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. Unless unless they ask me to, but I know they won't. Kurgle, I'm I'm pretty sure they did not fix what I know. And they know it too. Like they, it's not like a secret to the devs. Like I, when I found it, I brought it to their attention so that they could possibly do something about it. But I don't think it's really something that they have the ability to, to fix. 
if I'm being honest. I don't know. I think it's a client issue, but I could be wrong. Uh, he was just asking, or he was proposing that maybe the um, thing, the bug that I know about crashing the server is potentially something that you guys fixed, either with Publish 10 or with this stress test. But what I was saying is I'm pretty sure it's just a client-side issue that you guys may not be capable of fixing. Yeah, you're trying to fix those. I don't, I'm not 100% sure you even know which one I'm talking about. Reuse and, and Ferelli know. Reuse is very familiar with it because he is the one that I talked to about it when I discovered it. So, whatever. Pookums! Best name of the day goes to Pookums, followed closely by Lil Peanut. I don't know if Lil Peanut is still on. Let me see here. No, at least not here. Little peanut. Entered into an emote war, apparently. Everybody is emoting me. Yeah, I think that went pretty well. I think, um... Probably could have used more people. Most definitely could have used more people, but Jesus Christ, did we bring the server to a standstill at the beginning. What's going on over here? Bunch of people lining up for screenshots? Maybe? Would be nice to bring in, like, all of my characters and line them up and, like, take a picture with them all, but I'm not signing back in my characters. This is what we need, though. We need to be, like, whenever somebody says... Whenever you read a post online that says, like, nobody plays this game or the game is just, you know, filled with AFK bots, send them this live stream. Be like, look, <laughs> people.
So what's the big surprise we're all waiting for? Hey Twism family, this is um, we're having they're having a server event. It was a stress test to see how far we could push the server with stress, and uh, the event's basically coming to a close now. We're just all gathered here in feed for an after party, where apparently there's going to be some sort of surprise, but obviously we don't know what it is. I want to play one more game with the Holocron while we wait. I want to play it. Somebody give me uh, a being, a location, or a piece of technology from Star Wars. The films. Kurgle, Ferelli. You guys got one? Maybe Cater. Somebody who's been on for a while knows what I'm talking about. Give me like an obscure character or location. Technology is kind of hit or miss. The questions it asks are really weird. Uh, Scarif won't be on here. This came out before Rogue One. Ord Mantell might be on here, because it is mentioned in the movies, but I, that's, that's, all right, let's try Ord Mantell. We'll try Ord Mantell, because I'm curious. Look, is it a location? Yes. Okay. See, this is what I mean. Like, unless you're asking about a character, this thing's questions are really freaking weird. I just said it's a location. Question number two, are they female? Like, really? No. Ord Mantell is not female. Are they human? It's a freaking location, man. No, it's not human. Question four. Would they work for money? Would Ord Mantell work for money? How do I even answer that question? Would the citizens of Ord Mantel work for money? Probably. Would it- would- doesn't everybody work for money? That's such a weird question. I'll say maybe. Question five. Do they cause unease? No. Question six. Are they large? Yes. Question seven. Is their mouth very large? No. It doesn't- it's a planet. Question eight, do others control them? I, yeah, maybe? Nine, are they clothed? No, it's a planet. Ten, are they known for destroying things? Well, Ord Mantell is kind of a junkyard planet. So is Ord Mantell known for destroying things? Not really, it's known for where you put things that were already destroyed. I'll say maybe. Eleven, do people gather there? Yeah. Twelve, would they have healthy respect for Jedi? No, probably not. Thirteen, are they part of the Rebel Alliance? Was Ord Mantell part of the Rebel Alliance? Somebody who knows their lore better than me might know the answer to that. Any 
anybody? I could just say maybe. You're looking it up. Bonquiqui, we're in feed on that boo. Okay, it was under the control of the Empire. Okay, so no, it's not part of the Rebel Alliance. Thank you. Fourteen, have they been to Tatooine? No, Ward Mantell has not been to Tatooine. That would be freaking weird. Fifteen, are they helpful? Maybe? Sixteen, does it have sharp edges? Nope, it is definitely a planet. Are they tall? No. Could it be used to store information? Sure. Are they known for their fighting skills? No. Well, maybe. Search complete. I highly doubt it gets this. Is it a Death Star? No. Do they carry starfighters? Maybe. Is it on a planet? It is a planet! No. I hate this thing. Holy crap, what the hell's going on? I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna see who's the one Who's the one that goes after me? Who's it gonna be? I'm not gonna attack anybody. I'm gonna see who's who who's gonna be that guy. Who's gonna be that guy? Were they involved in the Battle of Endor? No. Is it the Star Forge from Legends? Interesting, so this thing has knowledge of KOTOR. Is it the Ebon Hawk? No. Alright, yeah, no, it doesn't know Ward Mantell. Well done. Peace, man, peace. I'm piecing. Oh, here it is. Is it this dude? All right, well. I guess we found out who it is. There's always someone. Was this the surprise? Is this what I stuck around for? Tell me this is what I stuck around for. C! 
Jeffy! That is unnecessary. Oh, I'm not cloning. That seems like a bad idea. Fuck that shit, I'm out! Wait, why can I not buy a ticket? Can't travel on combat, can I? Or am I just lagging? I think I might just be lagging. No? Alright, well... I do have poison cures, huh? Yeah, I know, go figure, right? This is why I don't PvP in Galaxies, because this is so boring. Like, I already know I'm gonna lose. It's just gonna take another five minutes. So, like, why... Like, I just... I'm just wasting my life. There's no way I can beat this guy, because of his, his poisons are just gonna kill my mind eventually, and I have nothing to heal my mind. So it's like, why am I even wasting my time doing this? Network monitor pings up to 42.
Yeah, I didn't record any of this PvP stuff. What's the cloning facility look like? Thanks, my young friend. Andreas21504, thank you for the follow. Alright. I think I am done for now. Let's try and clone and see what happens. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for hosting the event. Oh no, you can actually fall off of these? That's terrible. Of course, people are fighting up here, too. <sighs> Alright. Oh, look, I'm getting killed again. Wait, is this an NPC? Oh, it's Hackery. Long loading screen in the in the cloner, yeah. I mean, it's def. I really enjoy seeing this many people online again. It's it's very nostalgic, because this is what it was like in live. Almost not quite this many people in one place, but close to it. Um, it's good to know though that when uh, when we make an announcement for an event, you know, a good a good ways in advance. It's good to know that we can get a good, a pretty decent turnout, especially on a weekend where Star Wars Celebration is going on. So, I think if we have more of these guys, like, I know, I know how busy the staff is, believe me. And I know how, uh, we don't have as many people on staff as we once did. But if you guys could find, like, an event coordinator or two that can put something like this together on a monthly basis, I think it's going to do so much more for the server. Like, you'd really be surprised. All people need... People need a reason to play. That's really it. And one event a month, I think, is more than enough of a reason to play. Because it just... It gives... Brings people together, you know? So, whatever. That's just my opinion.
I would say, yeah, if you could give a, a week at the minimum notice, preferably two weeks. If you guys can plan an event, like, put something interesting together where you use, like, bridges and stuff like this and, and props. The more props, the better. Uh, and if you could give, like, a minimum of two weeks, a minimum of one week, preferably two weeks notice, that'll give me time to make a video to get the word out to people who don't frequent the forums. It'll give people time to even plan around it. You know? Yeah, d dude, Cater, I totally understand. It takes a lot of people, a lot of work, a lot of coordination. I get it. I totally get it. Hey, Crazed. Uh, this was a stress test for Publish 10, just to see how well the server could uh, could hang on, or uh, could manage a bunch of people all fighting in the same area at the same time. So nothing new is coming yet. This was just a test for something for the next update, really. All right, guys, I've got to take the stream down because I've been on. I've been streaming for over six hours. Wait, it's been nearly seven hours. This is the longest stream that I've ever done. So, thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for making it not only the longest stream I've ever done, but also the highest view count. Again, uh, we broke 50 viewers twice. So, thank you very much for that. Thank you to the devs for putting this all together. And for hanging out in chat. It's a lot more fun when you guys are actually interacting with us, too, during the event. So, if you ever do do something like this again, please try to try to be on the stream as well. Um, if you guys are new around here, uh, if this is your first time watching me or, you know, stumbling across the stream, look down below. I've got a YouTube channel with a bunch of SWG videos. I've got a public Discord that everybody's welcome to join. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'll probably be on later tonight, too, in like two hours streaming that other event. So, all right. I'm terrible at ending these things, so I'm just going to end it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you next time. Keep an eye out for the video. Probably won't be out for uh, a couple weeks because uh, I've got other stuff to work on first. And it's gonna. it usually takes me a while to edit these type of events down to watchable videos. But it will be coming out soon, TM, like everything else related to this project.